So I often get asked by students and aspiring broadcasters on some of the tips I can share that has helped me rise through the ranks in my career. But the truth is, regardless of how talented you are, how much you know, how hardworking you are, you cannot underplay the importance of networking. Networking is not necessarily about who you know. The question is, who knows you? How much have you impacted their life or how much of an impression have you left in their lives? Networking is that tool that will take you from where you are to where you want to be. So today we're going to be talking about networking, about how to meet people, what to do with them, you know, what to do with their contacts, and just giving you helpful tips to network your way to the next level. My number one tip would be always make sure you have value to offer. When you have value to offer, people would always come looking for you. But I'm not the expert here. Karika is. So enjoy as she shares with you a networking tips that would help you network your way to the next level. My name is Karika, the founder of Karika Republic, and I am the networking queen. Today, I am here to help you solve all your networking challenges. After today, networking shall never be a problem for you. Enjoy. When you finally reach out, people would remember you. People would say, oh, okay, the lady in the red hair with the red hair or something, you know. So yes, that's one. Two, when you meet people, stop asking them, what do you do? Hmm. If people don't even know. In this, maybe in America, people can my manage it. But in this Nigeria, people would be very defensive because people will feel attacked. People will feel like you're trying to size them up. You know, instead of asking them directly, what do you do? Try to make conversations first. You know, find out about what interests them. And then if you even ask the right questions, you can ask them what they do without even asking them what they do. But you know what? make connections first talk to them let people because see people do not care how much you know until they know how much you care so if you just come up front and you're just asking them what do you do they'll get very defensive they'll think that you are all about what you can get from them and you don't even want to do that if not you'll not be the network networking the real currency of networking is value the exchange of value so when you meet people what do you have to say how can you add to their lives you know because and this right night everybody's work everybody's like oh what, what is she going to do for me? So research, research, research. When you even research, it, it'll make you confident to reach out to people and talk to them because you know all you're saying, right? So number two, research. Number three, follow up. Follow up. It's not that somebody has given you a card and then you pray for, wait for Indiel Gabriel to speak to them, you know, to come and call you. Yeah, yeah, oh no. When you reach out, thank you for, um, you know, it was great meeting you, all of that. Talk about what, maybe if they talked about snowballing or they talked about Lagos traffic, say, ah, that the way you talked about Lagos traffic was very interesting, you know, and that it made me laugh. So, you know, something that would human beings are emotional beings, you know, you human beings don't just forget about the package. Like, oh, everybody is I mean, the prime minister and this. No, at the core of it, human beings are human beings, they're emotional beings. So, try to connect to them emotionally, try to talk to them about you know things that you spoke about and follow up, right? Okay, so now. Things you should not do, Biko and I'm begging you, things you should never ever do because <laughs> you don't want to jeopardize yourself. Number one, when you meet people, instead of just saying, oh, take my business card or telling them what you do, try to build genuine connections. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So it's very, very important. Build genuine connections. Talk to them, you know, build rapport with them such that even when you follow up after, they remember who you are. It's not, you not just be, like a business card in their wallet. So build genuine connections and actually, actually, you know, follow up after. Don't procrastinate. Don't say, oh, I would reach out to them tomorrow. No. When you meet somebody, you know, build genuine connections, exchange contacts, preferably phone numbers. And then maybe when you get, maybe a few minutes after, you can send message saying, it was nice to meet you and talk about something that you guys spoke about from your conversation, right? Good. Number two. Nigerians are on this table. Stop telling people when you meet them, what do you do? People would get very defensive. People would, you know, because people would feel like, what does she want from me? Or is she just talking to me because of what she can't get? Instead, talk to people, build rapport with them. Learn how to ask questions. You can ask questions and get those information without even asking them, what do you do? You know, be concerned about what, what are your hobbies? What interests you? By the time you put two answers together, you already know what they've done, right? And you know, even if you eventually ask them what you do, you've already built rapport, so they are not going to be defensive, they would answer you, right? Number three, Nigerians, people of the world, right? Trust is a currency. 
when people give you their contacts, please don't share it up and down. Don't just give people, you know, access. Because you have access to their contact does not mean that you should share it. Even if you must, always seek their permissions first because you never know, right? We're in a world, we're in a digital age. One phone number can give people access to your WhatsApp stories and, you know, instead of some invasion of privacy because somebody has given their number does not mean that you know you should share it around in conclusion networking is a fantastic tool to help you in your level of business career relationship everything right so i'm going to give it an assignment in your next event go meet somebody say hi say hello you just never know it could lead to contract opportunities maybe meeting your significant other you know so you just never know so reach out to people say hello to them do your research before you go right and when you even go strategically position yourself to meet people and you know talk about yourself from a place of value and also listen to them i'll be more than happy to mark your assignments all right people have a fantastic time <laughs>